All right, so I'm going to run through a quick demo showing how easy it is to create custom text commands using Discord Bot Studio. So let's go over quickly to the commands page. You can see we have all of our existing commands for this bot listed out here. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one, and I will call it giraffe. We can select that command, and we get the option now to add different responses when this giraffe command is fired. We go ahead and add a new one. We'll call this giraffe text. Response category, for now we'll keep that as message, and then we'll keep the response type as send message as well. You can go ahead and add that and then select it. Here we can edit this response um, for the channel name. I'll go ahead and do general. And then the response message text, I'll say this is a giraffe. And save that and then I'm going to go ahead and add one more response to this draft command we'll call this one draft picture this is also message response but this time we will send a message instead of send send an image excuse me instead of sending a message so we'll add this new response click in there for the channel name we're also going to want to send this response to the general channel I'm going to go ahead and leave the response message text blank because we're already going to be sending the text from the draft text response that we previously sent. Now we have the option to add an image URL and this is actually where it's going to pull the picture from that will be sent in chat. So I'll go over to Google really quickly. I've got some pictures of giraffes pulled up. I'll go ahead and copy an image address of one of these. Come back here and I'll paste that image URL in and then I'll save that response as well. Now we have this set up so that we have two different responses that are going to be sent by the bot whenever anybody types this giraffe command. Now we can go to run bot. We can see right now the status of the bot is stopped. If I go ahead and click start bot you can see that the bot is now running locally. Now I'll go over to discord and we can uh, test this out. So you'll notice if I type giraffe in chat, we'll get a response. This is a giraffe, and then also the picture that we set earlier. So this is really how easy it is to set up custom responses using Discord Bot Studio.